Today we're making the Sundowner. It's got Campari, which Derek loves, and it's got Smoky Mezcal that I love. So it can only be great, right? Well, when you bring bitters into it, it changes up the whole game. Welcome to Calm Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. That, my friends, that's Ian Andrews, and we're making a drink that's gonna make Ian and Jennifer smile and me weep. What's it called? It's called the Sundowner. Yeah. Submitted by Jan and produced by Dominic Langmesser. New Patreon subscriber, patreon.com slash This drink has an ounce and a half of Mezcal. Oh, yeah. An Can ounce work. of Campari, which is what makes Jared cry, mm -hmm. but me smile. Two ounces of orange juice. Fresh squeezed. Seven, uh, seven. Seven. Seven fifty. Uh, three quarter ounce of lemon juice. Uh, a couple dashes of chocolate bitters, but you're using scrappy because it's got a good chocolate flavor. And then a teaspoon of Contro. So we're going to shake everything up except for the Contro, pour it over some ice into the rocks glass, and then we're going to pour the teaspoon on top of the drink. But not stir it. No. Not stir it. Not stir it. Can I have my... Can you have that... Um, do you want ice to be... Yep. This. Ready? Oh, what are you doing? I was going to do it. Oh, you're not doing anything. So, you, you want to hit that? Oh, wow, that was really easy. Um, hold on. I want to... Where's the Do what you're going to do, man. The ice tongs. tongs. You move my... So! <laughs> it's useless at this point, but... <laughs> This is more of an ac academic thing, but you should be using your ice tongs today. So, wow, that's really big. <laughs> well, oh, it's peeing everywhere! Oh, my God! <laughs> I guess I had that coming. Yep. Um, <laughs> I've had that coming for a while. Uh, we had, I, I can't remember his username, but somebody had said, one of, one of our viewers had said, we should have either something that says, don't do this at home, uh, when we're when we licking the spoon, we're doing it in jest, but yeah. his fear is that because we're so awesome, people are gonna mimic us. That amateur bartenders are gonna think this is okay to do, which I hope isn't the way you guys I roll. I hope you guys obvious. think about this. <laughs> it should be obvious. If you're serving yourself, do whatever the heck you want to do, but don't lick a spoon at the bar. Don't hold the glass, with the ice with your hands. It's just not good. But if you're not, you're probably not watching the video that we're gonna do that in. So that's why I was thinking if we did something ice. Nice. I couldn't even see that ice is so clear in there. Um, that was flary. Oh, it's getting all flare! Yeah. Um, yeah, shake the Campari right out of there. <laughs> so, That's what he's hoping for. As part of the... Not gonna happen. I did the taste test ahead of time. Is that... We're gonna have any room for the for the drink in there, you think? Oh, it's gonna be fine. Oh, I like the color, though. Oh, dude. Um, ahead of time, I was... I was going through trying to figure out what is the yep. what is the chocolate bitter to use for this, and man, that's a mess. Um, and I was I went through and I checked the fee, and I went through and I checked checked out my uh, chocolate mole bitters from Bitterman's. This is probably twenty. I can't remember what we charged for these, but it's like twenty bucks, twenty two dollars maybe. These were like eight ninety five. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere around there, nineteen ninety nine for Scrappy's chocolate bitters. And when I was going through doing the tasting, I found that the chocolate mole, which is by far academically one of the more in-demand chocolate bitters that exist out there, lots of publications, lots of bartenders using them, lots of people buying them when they see them get published. It's got a little bit of chocolate nuance, a little bit of a mole hey, flavor. Your favorite thing, to the dad. Uh, Thank you. And a lot. Oh, can you read that? A lot of. Uh, just that. The, like a real bitter flavor. These guys have a little bit of like an artificial chocolate at the same time, like a, the glycerin or something. I don't know what it is. It just had a weird flavor. Yeah. Those ones, you should just taste test these two because I found that the Scrappies had such a lovely chocolate mm. nib, like bitter cocoa chocolate. nib. Both bitter chocolate, but yet at the same time, like rich. Yeah, like and dark chocolate. Yeah. I, like but, something in your beer fridge. <laughs> is it still in there? Yeah, that is like cinnamon and spicy a little the bit. The cinnamon, that's what it is. Yeah. These, I think, what, what here's what happened is this is Aztec chocolate. Aztec, I think they're trying to match the chocolate moles. I know the Bitterman people weren't too happy about it. That these guys are basically trying to play that mole flavor, like the cinnamon chocolate herbalness, where these guys are like, screw you guys. Chocolate nibs all up in your grill. It's got to taste like chocolate. Yeah. And like, I think. I Palate has been no. raped by bitters. Yes. I'll, I'll take it for a second. What's going on here? <laughs> it's just like he's like chillaxing on the yeah. Flat, it's a chillin' ice. orange. It's a chillin' orange garnish. Chillin' orange. You know all the all. That's the best part of Campari is that drinks come out vibrantly orange, sort of like they do with um, uh, mm. Aperol. Hmm. Why is this in the middle? 
That smokiness of that mezcal comes out pretty good. Mmm, see that bitterness. Not as much as the smokiness. I, you know what I think? No, what do you think? I, I think our flavor palettes are going to emphasize the flavors that we don't like. You're getting the bitter, I'm getting the smoke. You don't like smoke? Um, I'm okay with smoke, but it's not like it's a flavor profile sensitive. that I love. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna hurt yourself before you hurt me. So. <laughs> You're hitting rock. Great. It. Is that oh, what it is? It's not so rock anymore. <laughs> it's rock with a thin layer. Of but it's like jello that doesn't break. <laughs> That's not like jello. Yeah, because when you when you stab jello, it doesn't break. It just absorbs it. What are we doing? Ah! Why the hell did you just do that? It dripped on me. You smacked me. I needed to give you a high five. And I fell for it. <laughs> He did. So what does this taste like? <laughs> it, it reminds me of a smoky Americano a little bit. That would be a good name for it, the smoky Americano. But there's like, sundown. there's no juniper flavor in there. It's I see uh, the sundown color. Yeah, it's good. It reminds me of a tequila sunrise. In the color no, it's much better than a tequila oh, sunrise. Well, color-wise. Yeah. No, it's, it does have a bitter. What's awesome is the clear eyes. You can see right to the bottom. Yeah. Because it like, sits on the bottom. Yeah, nothing's well. getting in its way. Yeah. Um. It has like almost a to me a little bit of a grapefruitiness. Maybe it's the citrus playing with the bitterness. I think so, yeah. Like the tart, dry finish. Um, I don't know if I get the chocolate in there at all. Do you? I, the, every sip I've been looking for the chocolate, and I think the, way in the back. I don't know if it's because I took a sip of it, but it tastes a little bit like chocolate, but far, far like yeah. after. It's after. very subtle. Mm -hmm. I think it, it might tie some other no, flavors together. No, it's there. Like taste it right away. Within the first two seconds, you should get some chocolate flavor. Then it kind of then it gets tartar, tartar, tartar sauce, more tart, cream of tartar. I think what it does like is it. it helps tie a couple of the flavors together without mm -hmm. being a dominant. The flavor. dry, it's got the little dry chocolate finish. It's the dryness. Yeah. It's, it plays in the dryness. If you put, mm. for instance, I, I think you would tell easily if you put uh, angostura in there, if you put grapefruit bitters in there, or any of these, yeah. it's going to change the the flavor. I feel like I'm getting a little. I keep wanting to drink chocolate. it because of the sour. It, that's it's, why it's got a good. It's got compound. I keep taking sips. Right. It says something. It wants you to drink it. It's like a. Uh, it's like nicotine. That's its purpose. Drink yeah. me. It's like Alice Wonderland all up in here. Hmm? Yeah. It's not. It's it, it's light enough. Not enough Campari to yet. damage this guy. There's an ounce of Campari in there. It's really hmm. a lot. Not too bad. I'm 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 fairly impressed. I could order two of those. Yeah, After I could that, definitely I would probably, have a couple of those. I'd move on to something sweeter and balance back and then go to that. That's that's a good starter drink. Though. I like it. I like it as a short drink. Good pre-dinner drink. Question of the day. Post-dinner drink. Post-dinner drink. No. During dinner drink. All uh, dinner drinks. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> what's your For, favorite bitter flavor? Yeah, there you go. Let's do that. Bitter flavor. And that doesn't mean bitters, flavored bitters. You could do that if you want. You could but go like, with your like your favorite? gentian or your, yep. your aloe or whatever you, you want. You could go with your dark chocolate. It's a bitter flavor. Yeah. You can go, what is your favorite bitter flavor? Grapefruit? Tartness? Mm. Bitterness? Pick it. Write it below. Comments is important, but you know what's more important than that? Watch Go to patreon.com slash cmc and help donate to the show. That's important. That's important. I just found out that if you donate enough, there's like things. Rewards and stuff. Yeah. You can go there and check them out. Even if you don't want to donate, go watch my video I posted. Yeah. And, and if you don't want to do that, share, subscribe, and like. Simple. SSL. SSL. We're done. Yeah. Teach you how to drink. It's going to go bad and you're going to hate this tequila? No. But what that tells me and you if at home, if you have an older bottle of tequila and you have a newer bottle of tequila and you're trying to figure out which one's better and that one's two and a half years old.